Oh, let me tell you guys something. Hmm, jeez. What's up, a beautiful girl? Your mommy, mommy, I said, eh, hey, they don't know. <laughs> Before I even wake up, mommy, I'm leaving. Let's pray. I'm going for my training. Oh, yeah, let's go and see you compete. <laughs> hey baby how you doing welcome back to my channel this is another weekly vlog so today we're going to have a meeting so today is monday actually this is like 10 45 i slept by 4 a.m yes that's this morning and my meeting is for 11 i thought i was going to miss it but guess who did not miss her meeting yagi oh. out so let me show you what i'm wearing two parts simple you get me that's literally what i'm wearing fingers crossed it's an important meeting but in all sincerity, I've given it to God. Anyhow, He wants the meeting to go is exactly how it's going to go. So let our day begin. I was almost setting I was going to be late for the meeting. But guess who's waiting? Me. She ate my rhyme. Meeting. Waiting. Okay, that's a very lame. <laughs> that's a very lame rhyme. But I'm waiting for the person. I'm literally lying down. I swear, yeah, that's why I love my job. My job is not the kind of job where you have to sit down, there might be CC camera looking at you. No. <laughs> I think because I'm a creative person. If you're a creative person, you have to be expressive. Like, you're not just normal. Like, you have to be free, lie down, think. That's why I do colored hair. Just, we're just very expressive in our brains that if you try to confine us, we can't stay. You get me? But anyways, yeah, I got to the meeting. I'm waiting for her to come. Are you by trying hairs? <laughs> I'm waiting for her to come. Fingers closed. Now I'm fully aware that this place is very, very noisy. But I want to talk to you about something. So my meeting is over. And let me know like I had every reason to be nervous about this meeting. I had every reason. The meeting went superb. Let me tell you eh. Whenever you have something that is that's making you nervous. So let's say you want to have a meeting, you want to meet somebody, you want to whatever it is, right? The first thing I'd say is and I'm not trying to be cliche at all. I'm just telling you the truth, right? The first thing I'll say is commit it to God. Like, just literally tell God, not my will, but your will. Like, let God have it. You get me? If God has it, it shows that you totally depend on God, you trust on God, and you trust that the outcome will benefit God. Bruh. That's like the first thing. Second thing I'll tell you is, especially if it's a meeting that speaks to your value or your words or your business is know the value that you bring to the table know it so well understand it so well so that whenever you're having to make you somebody you're communicating your value the world might seem like it's a very scary ground do you get me like they're going to eat you up know who you are and what you're bringing to the table and be okay to walk away right so if it feels like they don't see your value they don't know okay no problem deuces i walk away because you know what you're serving, do you get me? And because you know your value, you know that they are better off with you. The third thing I would say, this was very impromptu, but I want to just share because I know somebody will learn from it. The third thing I'll say is, be teachable, do you get? So when you know your value and you know what you're communicating, now, be willing to learn. Say, you know what, I may not know everything, so what do you advise, what do you think? I know what I'm bringing, but how can we tweak this a little? Because even though I know what I'm bringing to the table, I want you to tell me. I want to learn. I want. I always want to be better. Do you get what I'm saying? Be teachable. When you're teachable, you will grow better. You will grow bigger. You get me? But that, those are the three things. Hand it over to God. Understand your value. Know how to communicate your value. Do you get me? And be teachable. Okay, but what do you think? How can we tweak this? By the time you see that way, you realize that you have, dis you have disarmed the other person, yeah? Whatever the person had come to come and you have disarmed the person, do you get me? And now the person is willing to reason with you and give you ideas. I'm sorry, I know it's noisy. My husband will say, why don't you have your mic on me? I know that's what he's going to say. I don't have my mic here. I'm sorry. But yeah, I thought to tell you, my mission went well. I feel good. Yeah, it's very chill. Before, before I carry this camera, it was I was weighing 61. Because camera has... This camera weighs like almost one pound. Less than a pound. But let me show you guys. So it was 61.9. Now it's 62.3. I'm losing weight for real. Do you know what? Yeah, sorry. Last time I checked, do you know what I was weighing? Yes. 64. 64.2 hey. or 3. I hey, oh yeah. Guess who's trimming down? Guys, we're here again. Oh. Let me just show you guys. So see what they have this time around. What do you call it? Citrus drink. Celery. <laughs> Celery. Green drink. Apple and cucumber. My mind knows that this thing, 
doesn't have a good taste but because omi is omi omi might just buy it oh my gosh guys this wednesday 2 29 pm i just filmed another video i haven't gone anywhere see all i've been doing it was oh let me tell you guys something hmm jeez let me bring my camera out close just so i can give you guys so you can hear me very well yeah yesterday i cooked i, I think the best part of being married mm, is cooking new things that i'd never cooked before i i never knew that i would be the one saying this eh? because when i was younger when i was when i was like in uni and guys would uh, like, come and meet me and say they want to marry me the first thing i would say in my head is man i'm not ready to cook no falcon like i i was literally afraid to just be a woman and start cooking for my i was i'm not gonna lie it was so hearing myself say this thing i'm like oh who are you but when i'm cooking something that i've never like cooked before it makes me so excited like oh my god it's gonna be sweet and it's always sweet because i think i think to cook it the only thing you need to just understand is how to cook with maggi and salt if you understand how to ration it and how like how to make it taste sweet and not taste too much then you understand how to cook that's that's what i know because i cook on new things and it comes out nice on that note i cooked in salad soup for the first time yesterday oh my gosh i used um catfish my only my only mistake was that so normally in my house, my mom still uses alum to wash her catfish, but I learned another way to use hot water to just put the fish and soak it, then put hot water on it, you know. And you will see the slimy thing come on the skin of the fish, it'll be whitish. And my only problem was that I think I don't think I left the water too long in the fish here, yeah? so it's dead. To, the fish dissolved, it literally broke down. Now I love it because I mean, I don't like soup that is bland here. Yeah? So it made the soup richer, but obviously buying two big catfishes and watching them dissolve in the soup is painful you know, because I would have eaten the catfish and enjoying it and just have like little crumbs there. But I said that to say that the soup was sweet. I think I'm, I'm going to just get my man to whisper behind and say it was sweet. When it comes, I would just come and say, yeah, tell me, tell me, tell me. But it was sweet, yeah, and it was rich. I put everything. I put, I chopped small, small meat. I put for more. I put... Uh, dry fish you get me i pull a uh, coffee bro it was dope <laughs> don't worry eh? when i get my house best believe that we'll have kitchen sex segments that one standard standard like we'll have kitchen segment yeah Let's see who's stepping out today Casey, i told them i was going to ask you something yeah. if the insala soup was sweet yeah, are you serious why don't you tell me what will make soup is so dope <laughs> Why don't you tell me? Oh, my soup is so dope, eh? I thought you knew. Sleek answer. You're just <laughs> ew. <laughs> Anyways, we're going out. Once you just can do mini shopping, not mini shopping, shopping. Let's not say shopping, like. But I just want to get some things I want. I'm, I'm such a sweet tooth. I told you guys, such a sweet tooth. I want to go and get like. I don't know man, drink yogurt. I love yogurt. I wanna get yogurt, I wanna get biscuits. Yeah. As in I was so I didn't even know how hot I was. Eh? Style up, oh. style up. Eh? Ah uh, you know? Casey be styling. Guys, I'm still using castor oil. I'm still using castor oil. They say castor oil is good, Abby. I'm still using it. Let's hope, let's hope it does it does a trick for my front hair. Anyway, shall once I get eh, do you know we have to wear masks? Yeah, okay, I have mask. Do you have mask? You have mask. I won't get there. I'm gonna let you know, right? Guys, my head is busting. So they are drinks of 117k, and I hear that people are buying Look, drinks of one million. Uh, bust my head. I do not know. They wrote it now. Baguettes. Let's try. Man, what's inside though? Looks very let's, mysterious. Let's try. let's try now. Let's try it. That's all you guys. I actually really like beans. Oh, and these beans look so yummy. These beans look so good. Oh, how shop price food can look yummy, but it won't taste yummy. Oh, see the egg yeah. soup look yummy. I see the big chicken. Oh my gosh. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, let's get chicken out there. But which one will we get? Dun, dun, dun. I got this one guys. Yeah. Uh, I see you. They pack this rice down, rice and chicken 500. Man, don't buy don't buy shop rice rice. It's dead baby. It's dead. 
Let me ask you. Please, what is inside this thing? What is this? Chicken is inside it. So why are we buying all this chicken? Because I want to eat chicken. So give me one of them. Please, I'd like to buy this salad. No way, no. You guys should use bacon. I, I think all we did was satis. Just like how can we start this with spinach? Bacon spinach is meat. It's nice. What's this? It's like organ now. Chicken loaf. Just fry it and put it in a sandwich. But is it already spiced up or you spice it up still when you get home? I guess it's spiced up. I just probably want to so Baby, you're too you're too fancy. Oh, oh, you're fancy, huh? Guys, this is my zone. What's that? Boy, sweetened now. Me, duh. Sugar free. Don't you not want to slim down? So I could think I'm joking with this, my way to watch it. <laughs> yes, it's for you. This is the full outfit. This is what you look like when you went out again. Hi darling, this is the Friday. I really haven't been going out this period, but today I'm going to have lunch with my sister-in-law. She's actually going to buy amala, but I don't eat amala. I'm going to eat yoga rice. I did not even believe that I'll be able to dress up. Like she literally called me like, I, I want to check. I want to check when she called me because I'm surprised that I was able to dress up by this time. Okay. Ha -ha. Oh, I see your dress, oh, sexy leg. <laughs> Sexy leg, oh, what's up? <laughs> Sexy leg. She knows you something called Yummy Mommy Association. Please let me open the back. Let me put it. Do you know? Eh? There's a group. Eh? There's a group called Yummy Mommy Association. <laughs> but I'm serious, so do you know? My friend is in, was on the group. <laughs> it's not, I'm going to say it's worldwide, though. When she even went to America, she hooked up with some people. They are everywhere. Lagos, Abuja, Delta. Different states. Oh, my God, contribute to. No, be your mommy. How you doing? You look good. Hey, see your skin. Really? It's fine. That's all right. I show camera now. You'll be ashamed. Where is your husband? I'm going to walk home. Hmm. See that house. They have a lot of things. They have soup. Plenty, plenty soup. What's up, a beautiful girl? Tell me, mommy, I said, eh, hey, they don't know. <laughs> wear watch, but the ring, I'll wear it. Mm. Um, uh, when I do white wedding, when we both have the ring, eh, hey, mm. I will now be, when I say, yeah, wear your own, I wear my own. Which one is white wedding? This one, this tradition, man, I think, go now. It's not legal. Legal, and I don't even know which one is the coco. Coco, no. Oh, yes, <laughs> Almost see this sun. Ah, uh -uh, see, I look so beautiful. No one at the corner they told me you're looking, you're looking, you're glowing. Yeah, glow every day. Yeah, they see how I feel. They tell you. They may say the angles where you did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what? We are looking darker. Which glow? Dark, dark, dark. Glow. Marriage glow. Oh, which kind of marriage glow? No, no, there's. Ah, sorry. Let me go back. There's COVID. marriage glow. Covid no daily. There's marriage glow. When you say marriage glow, what do they mean? They are married now, they're just this happiness and newness, you know that kind of thing. Are you serious? Okay, normally it's true. You yourself, you will not feel that. It's someone that is seeing you that way. But you did you feel it? I don't know, but I got that. We are glowing and soft a lot. You got it, but you could not see it, Abby. Mm -hmm. I think the only thing is that now, we're now together. We don't have to travel to come and see each other. Hey, why not? So that's it. Let me go see a bowling. Let me show you guys. Do you know this food like this now? One scoop of rice in this place, eh? It's 200 naira. Do you know me? 
And then it's got Jones. And I told you, man, do you have beans? <laughs> Give me beans 50. Do you have beans? Guys, one scoop of anything to 200 naira for rice. Just eat this rice like this now. Are you serious? Abuja is really where the president stays. <laughs> the president lives in Abuja, obviously. I can see. Mad. Yeah, I see also right. Also right. I see you're eating it. Show them. <laughs> As in God, do not bless this food now. It's not be sweet. Oh, you are enjoying this food, though. <laughs> well, you really like Kamala. <laughs> so you're just swimming inside. To me, it's just, I want a soggy thing. My best value is not for I mean, for you, for real, I'm a lot date is a date. You might really spend money. But it's not bad, it's too nice. Yeah. 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 But you know, if you don't grow up in Lagos, you don't understand I'm a lot. Oh, this water is there. Eh? I give up. Hi, hello. Can you have your food? Very He was looking all fresh and cute today. So today, today this is Saturday. What's time? Like ten thirty. What? Ten thirty Saturday morning. And guess where we're going to? We're going for Casey's game. You know, I always say he's a basketballer, but he's not a basketballer. He just play basketball. Which one? I play basketball. You're not a basketballer. <laughs> I'm a basketballer. Plays basketball. Okay. <laughs> so today they're having that competition. I told you about competition here. Yeah? They're having a competition, very chill. This this noise is going to disturb my you get me the flow and thing. Anyways, they're having a competition. Yeah, where's your song to be a good sportsman? So they're having a competition and I'm going there. I'm just telling Casey that Casey, every day you'll be going out. Oh me, before I even wake up, oh me, I'm leaving. Let's pray. I'm going on my training. Oh yeah, let's go and see you compete. <laughs> <laughs> Let me really get serious. Um, when I went to the game shower today, I've been craving pizza for a while. Like, I hope my eating is my bag. Yeah, I want to. I want to take Kitty out. I want to take him out on the treat. Ooh, I like that look he gave me. I don't know why I missed it on camera. <laughs> Anyways, I want, to, I want to take him on the treat. You get me? So yeah, after the games, I'm gonna go somewhere. Not somewhere. I mean, see, uh, it's the effort that matters. You get me? Once you get to the um, game, I'm a. I'm done. I'm Guys, the match is over. So they finished 46 49. Um, Casey's team was 46. I learned a lot about basketball today. I learned that yeah, sometimes you shoot and you have like three points, two points, and one point. Yeah, and it was a very close, like it was like last minute three points that made them win. You know, Casey's team was so painful, super painful. I think I've spoken about pizza on this channel for like forever. I'm craving pizza a lot, so I actually want to sponsor the pizza today. So we're going to go to Domino's to get pizza right now. We are done. We've gotten the pizza. We're on our way home. Oh god, let me tell you guys something here. The smell. Should I call it smell or aroma? The aroma of pizza makes me feel so good. I don't even know. I'm such a fan. We didn't eat it there because we have drinks at home. So we rather just instead of wasting our money and buying drinks, you know, there, we rather just 
go home and eat it. I am hungry, I am tired. I was supposed to make my hair. I was supposed to braid my hair, but I don't want to braid my hair yet. I actually want to carry my hair for like one more day. Not one more day, one more week rather. So, um, home on my birthday. Wait, what about the photo shoot? It's tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday. Anyways, um, I was supposed to plait my hair for my birthday, but I'm not gonna lie, adding this ponytail to my, adding this ponytail to my hair is just making me feel like let's rock the hair for a little longer, yeah. So I'm definitely not plaiting my hair um this week. I'll probably plait it like next next weekend. This battery I bought is very nice. Better than I said better than my original one. So mm -hmm. lasting longer, I'm telling you, it's uh, uh, it's amazing. It's really nice. Well, these guys said that. Uh, these guys said the guys things are good, yeah? It's really nice. The batch is lasting long. But anyways, yeah, we're going home. After we eat that, that piece, I don't even know what we're going to do. I, mean, I want to just wash my makeup and just sleep. Like, no, 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 no not sleeping. All. Guys, yeah, if you guys don't know, me is my story I'm writing. I posted the latest episode or chapter yesterday. It's so interesting, guys. Like, this one is mad. If you went to a boarding school, you will relate to this story well. If you didn't go to a boarding school, you should read the story because you open your eyes a lot. If you should have had like any bullying experience, you get me? Like, if they bullied you at all, or you know what it feels like to be bullied, you need to read this episode. You would you feel her pain like when they knock her. See, eh? just I'll, I'll put the link to the story down below. Now, when she's gonna get home, I will start eating them. I'm like, chill now, but now.